Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. This is officially my last video of the year of 2023. And I'm starting to uh, produce it at 10.52 a.m. on December 31st, 2023. Not that any of that has any relevance to the actual video itself. Speaking of which, we find ourselves in St. Petersburg, Florida where a uh, more soft tart has been pulled over for all the usual BS, and, well, it doesn't exactly go down for so well for him or his companion. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. <sighs> How you doing, sir? What's up? What's the problem? My name's also stopped at the city of St. Pete. The reason I'm stopped is because you don't appear to have a valid registration on your vehicle. Ah, this vehicle is registered. Actually, excuse me. First of all, <clears throat> excuse me. I'm a foreign national. Mm -hmm. Bullshit! 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 Um, this vehicle is registered under the Morris American National Council. Council. Okay. And under the Treaty of Secret Friendship and a CNA and Council of Notification. So basically, what I'm asking is, um. I've got a question for the both of you. Have either one of you actually read the Treaty of Peace and Friendship? I mean, it's readily available online. And uh, guess what? There are 25 articles to the uh, Treaty of Peace and Friendship, none of which grant you special rights on American soil. In fact, most of the articles have more to do with uh, trade, commerce, and uh, maritime issues, and really nothing to do with, well, special privileges at all. So, yeah, try again. Are you familiar with the um, council notification and access manual? I'm familiar with your uh, train of thought. Do you have your ID on you, sir? I'm asking, are you with... Um, are you familiar with the CNA, the Council of Notification? My front seat. Front Are you seat. familiar with um, Council of Notification? My front seat. Yes. And my front seat. Manual. Yes or no? Uh, you, is your lieutenant? Yeah, I have the supervisor on the way, yes. Okay. Okay. But are you familiar with the Council of Notification Access Manual? I'm familiar that with the Florida State Statute requires that your vehicle be registered with the state and that you obtain a valid Florida driver's license to operate within the state. His lieutenant Mike. Because they would know. He doesn't. I guess he doesn't. Again, Florida state law requires that you have your vehicle registered with the state of Florida or any of the other 50 states, and you have a valid driver's license United within the United States, states to operate a vehicle. Under the Constitution. Now, at this point, I am giving you a lawful order to identify yourself because you're being stopped for a traffic violation. <coughs> Excuse me. Spike strips. <coughs> what? Uh, we'll speak to your um, lieutenant. You bring your lieutenant, please. My sergeant is on, well, a sergeant's on the way, not yeah, my yeah, sergeant. Yeah, bring someone who's uh, you, competent in council notification and um, notification access manual. You're not familiar Thank you, 16. With They're being non cooperative. They're requesting a supervisor. You're not familiar with the law. They're hot. Get under the tires. They're going to flee. <laughs> oh, that's a problem. I'm sorry. Yep. Officer? I don't need those things. Okay. I'm asking if you're competent in the um, You're traveling on the roads in the city of St. Pete in the state of Florida. National. Do you have your driver's license registration for insurance on you? I am a foreign national. I'm asking if you're competent. Oh, you're asking if the officer is competent. I wonder if you are totally incompetent because you are in the state of Florida and uh, under the uh, Florida statutes, you are supposed to have a valid registration, driver's license, and everything like that. You are not immune to any of that. The Treaty of Peace and Friendship does not grant you immunity from that. I mean, come on now. Actually take some time to read the Treaty of Peace and Friendship and realize that it is not what you think it is. In your counselor notification access manual, every hey, push, sheriff push and policy enforcer I suppose it's not in that. Do you have your license registration for the insurance on you? Or some form of identification? Okay. The 
unless you're confident in that, I'm, I don't, I'm not required to you, answer You are required to you. You provide that information during a traffic stop. <coughs> this I do is have a commercial stop, and I'm protected by treaty law and obligations. So unless you are confident in um, the possible information access manual, you shouldn't be here. You need to bring somebody who is confident in the national notification access Information you're to search for to ask me any questions. I'm no, not obligated to ask you anything. Okay. I mean, to answer anything for you. And, and if you fail to provide that information, you're obstructing this traffic stop, you will go to jail. I'm going to have to sue you. That's fine. Because you, you can provide the information, or you're going to go to jail. Sorry to burst your bubble again, uh, soft hard, but well, uh, you are in the state of Florida. You are required to present your driver's license at a traffic stop. So, yeah, you can either present that or continue to aggravate the situation and end up being put in handcuffs. Guess which one he decides to do? I'll give you a hint. It involves handcuffs. I'm not going anywhere. You need to provide... We're You're going law. against the um, Article 6 of the Treaty of Peace and Friendship are you, are you a between the Moroccan Empire. I am, man. You have your driver's and license, registration, and proof of insurance on you. Are you familiar? Okay, let's read uh, Article 6 of the Treaty of Peace and Friendship. If any more shall bring you citizens of the United States or their effects to his majesty, the citizens shall be immediately set at liberty and the effects restored in like manner. If any more not a, a subject to these dominions shall make a prize of any citizen of America or their effects and bring them to any port of his majesty, they shall be immediately released as they will then be considered under his majesty's protection. I'm confused. How does this give you immunity to a traffic stop? Uh, oh, wait, it doesn't. Are you what country are you from? We are the Moroccan Empire. Do you have identification on you so that I can so I can notify your consulate that you've been stopped? I can call the consulate. Do you have, you have identification on you? The consulate yes, location yes. And, and ask this menu. You what, what country? Are, what, you said you're from Morocco? I actually do. What's your consulate? Moroccan. Moroccan. Do you have identification on you so I can call the consulate and see if they're familiar with you? The consulate. And I can send them. You don't actually have to answer the question unless they have a question. Hey, hey, you got to step open out of the vehicle. Hey, hey, step out of the vehicle. I'm getting ready to hey, give you stop, the information. Stop. You need to step stop out of the vehicle. So now Sir, this time you're under arrest. arrest. You need to step out of the vehicle. I'm step out of the vehicle. with her. Get now you're breaking my arm? You need to under Ma'am, I'm talking to her. Do not touch me. Don't touch us. We're talking to her. Ma'am, excuse me. You need to have a search warrant, a seizure warrant, and an arrest warrant, but you have none of those things. Well, not according to the statute right here, dude, if you don't. Follow the lawful directives of a police officer at a traffic stop. You are subject to being arrested. Look it up, dude. Ma'am. Sir, I step out of the vehicle, stop. please. Out of the step out of the vehicle. I'm going to pull you from the vehicle. Baraka, I'm trying to tell you. You got you. you got Sir, step you. out of the vehicle. Or I'm going to remove you from Excuse the vehicle. Me. Excuse me. Right, stop let me it. Show you my, I'll show no, you my stop ID. reaching. Stop reaching. All right, I'm step out of the vehicle now. We have a foreign I have ID. Baraka. Baraka, stop. Stop. We have a Stop. foreign ID. You... Stop. Stop. Hang on, let me see if I can get in the phone. Let me see if I can get in the phone. I need your ID. You guys, you do have to provide me. You do have to provide me. Hang on. I, I need your foreign ID. That's fine. Do you have them? Yes. What do you need my foreign ID? You can see it, but you cannot take it. Okay. What do you need, ma'am? I will show you this. This is my identification right here. Okay. Let me see it. So I let me see it so I can write it down. You can write okay, it down. You Let me see it so I can write it down. I'll give it back. All right, we'll give it I'll back. I'll give it back. Give it to me. Make sure you give it back. Can you put the car in park and turn the turn the car off for me? Put the car in park and turn it off for me, please. Put the car. <coughs> Listen. Listen. I'm not trying to have any trouble. Okay. But we are under lawful right via the treaty, a piece of friendship that we have with the U.S. Corporation of America.
And that's another dumbass issue right there. The United States is not a corporation. It is a government. I mean, come on now. Uh, at least look up the difference between uh, government and corporation. Understand that there are differences that separate the two of them. I mean, here's a uh, list of differences right here. But are you going to read them? No. You're just going to listen to your gurus who think that they know better and are fleecing you for every dime that you're worth. All right. Okay. You know what? I have this... these documents. I can show them to you. Okay. Do you have them? Uh, fortunately, I didn't bring them with me to do it. But I can... Okay. My, then... There's a place right over there that I can bring you with and I can give you all of my... Do actually, yeah. actually, no, no. I think I can bother there. What do you... And do you have the CNA because, uh... I can't see. So you guys are from... You were born in Morocco? You see that there? You see that there, Flag? That's the signal that we're supposed to have on our conveniences. The Article 4 of the Treaty of Peace and Friendship. Are you freaking kidding me? Have you even... Uh, well, I'm not even going to ask that question anymore because clearly you have not even bothered to read the damn Treaty of Peace and Friendship. Here is Article 4 of the Treaty of Peace and Friendship. A signal or pass shall be given to all vessels belonging to both parties, by which they are a, uh, to be known when they meet at sea. And if the commander of a ship of war of either party shall have other ships under his convoy, the declaration of the commander shall be alone to be sufficient to exempt any of them from examination. As I stated, most of this has to do with maritime laws and everything like that. This is not the freaking sea. This is the land. Learn the difference or actually read the damn treaty because you're just making yourself look like a pair of ignoramuses at this point. I mean, illiterate ignoramus is concerning that uh, you claim to have read it, but clearly you have not. Between the United States and the Moroccan Empire. You guys know this. This is a commercial stop and the treaties to protect it's, us at this point, and commercial incidents. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. This is definitely not a commercial stop. You smooth brain soft tarred moron. I mean, come on now. This is a traffic stop, not a commerce stop or whatever the hell you think it is. And this is certainly not the freaking sea, which is where most of these rules of uh, the Treaty of Peace and Friendship would apply. I would say that you're one of the dumbest people I've ever covered, but uh, you clearly haven't met. Uh, Enrique Alonso Torres, a.k.a. Dumbass Elmo. Thank you. Sir, at this point, you are under arrest. You need to step out of the vehicle. For what? Obstruction. Obstruction of what? Obstruction of this traffic stop. We're not going to debate is, it. You'll I'm have not, your day in court. Not you need to step out of the vehicle for me, this please. This is not obstruction. Excuse me. There's what? no right. You're, not, you're yes, going sir. against the Article 6. And like I said, you'll have your day in court. Can I no, you're under arrest. Me, be, we're beyond detainment. What am I under arrest for? I already advised you obstruction. Please step out of the vehicle. What am I instructing? The traffic stop, sir. I'm not instructing. She's already ordered me to take him into custody. She needs, you need to step out of the vehicle. You can speak. She's on the outside. Okay, hold on. Let me get my book real quick. Sir, I need you to not reach for anything else. I need you to step out of the vehicle. Hey, what are you doing with my... Step out of the vehicle. Let's go. Let's go. Step out of the vehicle. Hey! Get on the ground. Off with me. Get on the ground. You're not supposed to be doing this. Get off with me. Get off with me right now. Get on your stomach. Cooperate. Not worth it. Not worth it. Relax and cooperate. Y'all breaking the treaty. Article 6, yeah, Article 4, you're breaking all the treaty laws right now. I'm not supposed to be doing this. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead and roll on your side, boss. Do you have anything else sharper than it's going to poke, stick, stab, or cut me? What? I'm asking if you have any other weapons that's here. Utility blade. That's not a weapon, that's a tool for drywall. I'm a drywall finisher. I do drywall work. Ugh. Y'all know darn well that this is against the law. We are allowed to travel. The Treaty of Peace and Friendship is our protection and 
I'm coming. That flag is not sticking up. Mm -hmm. Y'all know that. Article 4. The banner that y'all wear. Go back over this side. Go back over side. That's y'all's signal that y'all supposed to go by. <clears throat> Give my phone to my mother. Perfect. Sit up. If I have anything on me, give it all to my mother. Absolutely, we'll be able to come like that. Go ahead and sit up. And you'll stand up. Put your feet on your feet. Just bring your, just yes. bring your leg in. Put your knees up to your chest. Yes. Come on. All right, one, two, three. So I have to go through this mat and fly. You didn't want to comply. To comply with what? The traffic stop. The, this is a commercial stop. Go you know ahead. What traffic means. Traffic is commercial. I'm very aware where traffic is. I'm a traffic officer. Go ahead and have a seat for me. I am not consenting to this. You don't have to. Mm -hmm. Alright. Step it out for me. Uh, you said you want to talk to the supervisor again, right? I'm going to take this off you, okay? Uh, I, I don't. don't. Do not grab that. That's a big mistake. Ma'am. Understand that, but don't grab it the weapon. Okay? Ma'am, why are you why are you bothering me? What did I do? Can you step out of the car so we can talk to the supervisor like you asked? Ma'am, are you gonna are you detaining me for any reason at all? For I what? Because I heard car. you speaking over there. I touched his hand. Yep, you grabbed me twice. I didn't mean to, well, you know what? Ma'am, please step I, out of the car, okay? Can I call my mom? Nope, you need to step out of the car. Are you detaining me? You're under arrest. Yes, step out of the car. Ma'am, yes, Ma we can do this one of two ways. Step out of the car. Don't I don't, I don't, I don't. I can get out. I know, thank you. Okay, then get out. Then get out. Get off my wrist, please. Get out. Step out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Yes, ma'am. I need my phone because I need to be able to contact my mother and the number. Yes, ma'am. And I don't know it by heart. That's fine. Okay. Can I go your cruiser? Absolutely. I'm parked behind that cruiser. Let's go walk to that white one. Okay. Well, let this be a lesson to anybody out there. If you're going to try to use some mumbo jumbo like this to try to get out of a traffic ticket, do us all a favor. Don't do it, because unlike you, there are people out there who are willing to at least read these things and, uh, well, read them to everybody else to make you look like a bunch of damn fools to, be to begin with. And, uh, well, this didn't exactly work in court for him either, because he ended up getting six months, months probation, which ended up being revoked because he didn't follow the terms of the probation. So I guess he'll get more time than he thought he would. So at any rate, guys, it is 11.49 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, and I am pretty much done recording this video, uh, which has nothing really relevant uh, to uh, the video anyway. It's just uh, I wanted to see how long it would take me to produce this video. So at any rate, guys, I hope you have a happy new year, and I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?